Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jay. This is How to App on iOS. I've had some coffee. It feels good. Yeah! Man, the weather's cool in Melbourne today and it's damn fine. Happy days. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to try something different over the next uh, few episodes, see if you guys like it, what we're doing. I'm going to kick off with um, I don't know, maybe a song from somebody who hangs out here in the chat every day. Because why not? Got to support the people who support me. This is Russ 889. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the show. So if you want to find out more, Russ is in the chat. Click on his name. Go find out more. Subscribe if you like his stuff. He makes good music. Um, and I'll play what I can to open the show as long as I don't get a copyright claim. Happy days. Hey, I hope you're all doing well today. If you're watching over there on Facebook. Alrighty. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> um, uh, you can come and join us here on the YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash jadestar at any time you'd like or head over to the website, which is how to app on iOS.com. And um, you can watch the show there as well because it's embedded into the chat. Also, uh, for you guys um, who are not Patreons, I'll let you know that I did a three-hour three stream a couple of weeks ago showcasing my new album, performing my whole new double album, uh, even though it's fully not finished yet, live um, on the Patreon. Yesterday, I released it to the world, so it's now on the YouTube channel, so if you want to go ahead and watch that, you can do so. Three hours and um, there's little stories in between and, and uh, you know, so you can hang out and watch that if you want. It's 22 tracks and um, I did my very best to uh, pull off singing every one of the songs, which was <laughs> super hard to pull off a three hour show singing, but somehow I did it. So you can do that. Also, let's say hello to the folks in the chat. Hi, Russ. Bet you didn't know I was going to play your song today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Hubs is here, Deep Gravity's here, man, how good is it? It's nice and cool today, the weather has cooled down immensely here in Melbourne. SM Borthwick is here, glad to see you. Jessica Jan, long time no see, from Messenger about half an hour ago. Um, good to see you. Um, uh, let's scroll. Scrolling, 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 Tom Rochelle is here, Tom Rochelle. And Cold Acres here. Welcome to you, Pete Johns. Good morning, Carity, Carity Man. <laughs> Enjoying your sleep-ins, Pete? Uh, Pete's got a show today in um, two hours from now. 
and I'm guessing that um, Joey has a show straight after mine. So hello, Danny Broderick as well, as well. La, 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 la. Um, let's see, Dean Thomas. Hello, Dean. Today, man, today I'll get there. Uh, so um, after this show, I'm actually well, not directly after this show. I'm going to hang around for Pete's show, and then I'm heading into the into the city because I'm going for a blood transfusion today. That that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Eight hours of blood transfusion. Goodness. Um, uh, have I missed anyone else? Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's scroll down. Ed Zelinsky. Hello. <gasps> Doctor Zorders. Um, if I'm. Oh. I'm pretty sure Dr. Zorders has a premiere coming up on his channel. Is that right, Dr. Zorders? Uh, is that in about 12 hours from now, roughly? Uh, 13 hours from now? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that if you don't know Dr. Zorders' music, go over and see it. It's a trip, man. So uh, Dr. Zorders has a, a premiere of a new song on his channel. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in 13 hours, roughly. Um, so head over and have a look at that. They're always... Is it Friday? All right. We'll just go over to his channel and, and hit the um, notification thing because it's always a trip, man. A trip. Doctor's orders is a total trip. Um, I should be saying hello to more people here, but I keep getting sidetracked. Um, did I miss anybody in my rambling? Rambling. I said hi to Russ. Um, I think I've... Sion. How do you do, Sion? Good to see you too. Um, I think I've got everyone. If I haven't, really, just... Thanks, Pete. Thank you very much for posting a link there. Good man. See, see, that's how you do it, Cold Acre, right? You weirdo. <laughs> it's all right, folks. I know Cold Acre. He's been to my house. I've drugged him and left a carrot in his butthole. We're good friends. I can, I can abuse him like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, there's, thanks for posting the link. Also, folks, remember, there is a giveaway in process at the moment. Uh, like, there normally is a couple of week. <coughs> um, so, for the yesterday's app, for the base, the base app that we looked at, what was it called? I can't remember, my brain hurts. Base Deluxe amp. So, the video's up, so go leave a comment if you want to try and win a copy of that. Thank you very much also to uh, the new Patreons who joined my patreon yesterday i definitely have to give a shout out to those who have joined um there's martin and bradley who have joined so thank you very much uh, that puts us up to 25 patrons and i did promise when i got 10 patrons i was going to do a q a thing so that's going to come up uh possibly this weekend we'll do that after yml so if you're up for that after yml even you're a patreon come on you can ask me anything or not, uh, preferably about music, because um, I don't really want to cover the porn and stuff. But yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> man, how does this show spiral into stupidity every day? I don't oh, know why, it's because I'm involved. <laughs> all right, uh, let's have a look. Any apps? Uh, nothing exciting. No. Look, it's that dead period of time, folks, where there doesn't seem to be anything like major price drops or anything like that. So it's pretty bleak on that front here. Is there anything new? I can see. Here's something else. If you do use this page, this um, app slice page, you can actually click on. I'll show you. Don't know if you're aware of this. You can click on newest up the top there. And then you can go to categories and select music and hit go. And it'll do its best to show you anything that's kind of new and it's not always really good up to date see granulizer still there and look schlap is there which is what we're looking at today so schlap uh it's a perfect segue thank you app sliced so schlap is a um it's a compression app but it's a little bit more exciting than that it's uh so it's a, quite a, it can be quite a violent compression app you can do some pretty extreme stuff with it uh it's made by the same uh producer of the tape pro apps um so it's kalem audio and um that's it's it's pretty damn cool you can do some really extreme stuff with it 
I think here too, see this um, guitar amp? This is by the same uh, creator who made the bass amp we looked at yesterday. And I've got a copy of this. So I'm going to look at this next week. Next week's going to be a little bit of a guitar kind of themed week. I'm going to do a relook at the Spark amp six, five months later to see how I'm going with it. Is it still worth the money? Should you invest the money in the Spark amp? Um, so, yeah. But we're going to be looking at this as well. So, and finally going to be looking at Drambo next week. And we've got some giveaways for Drambo as well. So if you haven't got Drambo and just you got to be kind to me because I've been learning how to use it. It's very intense. All right. It's very, very intense. I've never used anything like it before, but holy, holy, holy shit. Man, there's so much you can do with that app. It's really incredible. So, yes, Drambo. Did you get my message, Russ, on Patreon? If you didn't, you better go look at it. You may smile. <laughs> All right. Um, let's jump in and, and talk about this app. So, as I said, it's $1.99. We'll have a look at the developers kind of... Uh, hello, Brad. Welcome to you. Welcome to the chat. I just uh, gave a call out. Thank you for becoming a Patreon yesterday. I hope you're doing well. Um, so, Schlapp, not to be um, confused with the music site schlaps or whatever it's called because you still get to slap this but uh instead of a slap you slap so it's a little bit different a little bit different um so basically here the the um so it's on sale at the moment that's why i actually wasn't going to do this today but i realized it's on sale until tomorrow so if you do actually want to pick this up for dollar 99 do so because it's going to go up it's it's at um 33% off at the moment. So if you do like today, that's why I thought I'd get it in before it goes up. Uh, Schlapp is a, a <laughs> characterful. I've never really heard that word before. A characterful, colourful and aggressive sounding program dependent on AUV3 interrupt audio standalone compressor. It takes inspiration from hardware RMS compressors of the past and evolves them into a modern setting. If you want your tracks to be energetic, in your face, and bold, make them schlap. So there you go. Um, so we'll, I'll put it through its... Uh, yeah. Hey, Stu, welcome to the chat as well. Yes, he's here. But don't, don't say it too loud, man. Don't wake him up. Don't wake him up. Oh, he's awake, man. Don't wake him up. He'll put his phone in his pocket and mayhem will ensue. All right, so let's open up Schlapp. How should we do it today? Should we, uh, uh, let's start by opening it in GarageBand, yeah? Um, all right, so here it is. Here, here it is just as a uh, standalone. So you can do it this way as well, which um, I don't know why you would because you can't really add anything into it. You can just like add your mic through it. You can't record it anywhere. But there's the interface, nice and big for you to see. So pretty easy to look at um, and easy on the eyes. So we can get out of that, close that out. Um, I'm going to close everything out here now. Look, there's a photo of Patrick Baird in amongst there. <laughs> Speaking of which, he's coming on the show tomorrow and it's going to be lots of fun. Lots of fun. Um, all right, so we'll open up GarageBand. And we'll throw it on the the um, the bell bottom song. Here we go. So I've already got it on here. Let's just I'll just remove these because I was playing with it last night again. Do I have it here too? Let's remove it from here as well. Do 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 do. I'm gonna add it back anyway. And I think I had it on these guitars. No, I don't. Maybe on this one. No. Cool. All right, so ideally, this is really good for drums. Let's get this straight off the bat. Awesome for drums. You can really create some crazy effects for drums. So you can use this as a really light um, compression. You can use it for as a standard kind of compression, or you can turn it up to the extreme and really get some crazy um, sounds happening with it. So that's, that's the advantage of it. Plus, uh, if you've used Rough Rider before, another app which I haven't covered yet, and I will soon. I know I'm late to the party, but Pete's done videos on it. If you want to look that up, you can go over to Pete's channel. It's Studio Live today, and um, look up Rough Rider. Three. 
Um, but th so this is kind of similar because it has a really nice display. So let's um, just... So here's a song we're just going to play around with for a little bit. You know this song. I've played it a few times. The, um, and that's kind of the reason behind the title of the show today. Slapping your ass to the funk ass beat. Yeah. So this is um, Bell Bottoms on Sesame Street is the name of this song. Bell Bottoms on Sesame Street. Slapping your ass to the funk ass beat. <laughs> So let's play around with some of these drums. So we'll solo these drums and see exactly what it will do here in GarageBand. So let's head over to the side of the project here and we can add an audio unit extension. Scroll to S for slap. And there it is in all its brilliance. Unfortunately, another one of these AUV3 plugins in GarageBand that doesn't get bigger there's no option to make it big the little arrows that you normally see up here i wish more developers would think about garageband when they do this when they create these so that's another thing i wish uh, devs would look at so this is just set to default so actually there we go I've got two of them in there, haven't I? Damn. Don't need two. <laughs> oh. There we go. So there it is by itself. We've got nothing going on there. Well done, Pete. Thank you very much. Good stuff. So what's really good about this, straight off the bat, is you've got this little meter in here. Let's talk about this before we get into anything else. So you get a representation and see how many decibels everything is, how everything's riding. Plus it holds your hand. So as you play with the threshold ratio and the knee, which are three basic knobs that are on a compression that uh, if you've used compression at any kind of level, you would have seen these, these knobs and touched them, fondled them, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if we start playing around with it, you can see I have the ratio set. So just by turning up the threshold, it's already creating a fair bit of weirdness there, a fair bit of damage to it. All right. So this is set to, if you look at the threshold, set to minus. So we'll go back, play this again. Now, the representation here, the white up here is the actual input sound that's going in. And anything that's red, we can see in between those gaps there, that's what it's being compressed down to, right? So it's being squashed down to there. So, if I start playing with this threshold even more, it's cutting out all those high frequencies. It's actually pulling out that hi-hat that's in there. So you can see where those, where these red bits are, that's where those highs are. So it's pulling out those frequencies out in there. If I turn it up even more, Holy shit. <laughs> that is some crazy ass. I mean, that is some crazy ass compression. <laughs> Look at that shit. Or if I got the. Yeah. Right. So, what we're going to do here is now play with the ratio. Because the ratio's uh, got these really weird extremes going on. So, you've got typical uh, stuff here. So. I'm just going to start off. So you have typical one-to-one -one compression. And then as you go up, so here's your one-to-one -one here. So you're actually starting below that, below one-to-one. -one. So it's 0 0.1. So 
And as you ride up, let's go back to the start of this song. You can see we're getting more into like standard kind of compression, three to one here. If I pull this back, the threshold back, you can see we're really starting to mess with these drums. Now what's cool is if you keep going, you get seven to one, 10 to one, and then you move all the way up to 20 to one, wherever I've passed it. There's, um, so this is infinity. You can, you can barely see it. There's a little infinity symbol there. Pretty sure that's. Now, if I pull the threshold down, it totally... <laughs> look what it's doing to <laughs> this stuff. Now, the knee button, if you uh, want to know what that is, it's more like a... So, it's used for like a smoothing kind of effect. So, the, it's the overall smoothing of, of everything you've done with the threshold and the ratio, right? So, these are... It's, it's really subtle. Now I'm going to bring the threshold back up, ratio down. If we go the other way, you can actually pull out, virtually pull out the kicks. So you can hear the cymbals are now. So you can see with, with drums, this is quite, quite insane. You imagine like if I had, say, let's keep this playing. And I've got another track here of the exact same drums. You can always create like a reverse kind of effect going on there with it a little bit lower. So there's a heap of room for experimentation with this stuff. And that's what I like about this, this app. Now we've pulled out all the, all those chinas are gone. So you imagine so like something like that with another effect on there, you can create some really crazy stuff, right? So it's not only just a compression app. Now, of course, you can you can use this just as like a a, a typical compression. So if we throw it on like this uh, base here. Let's uh, just throw it on here and show you just as a typical compression. So just to, as a subtle compressor, absolutely fine as well. You can use it as well for like a, a full song mix or anything like that. If you just want to uh, do a, 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 add some compression to a, a finished song, you can do that nice and subtly. You can add stuff to it. So let's um, go back to this bass line here. So you can see there, just gives it a nice bit of volume. And it can give us a nice squash down, so you can really squash it down here, like a limiter. And 
<laughs> I love playing with compressors and destroying sounds. Something I found really fun uh, last night when I was playing around with these drums, see, just say we have this kind of sound here. What I'm saying is alone, I mean, you can create some really crazy stuff with drums, but if, I mean, if you add something in like, uh, let me see, God, do I have it on here? I'm gonna do a show on this at some stage. So, there it is there, Yalid. Let's add that to it. Um, just to show you, using uh, something interesting like this, we why 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 in conjunction I won't show you too much of this app but it's pretty cool yeah You guys know how I love to destroy sound and create extreme noise sometimes. Man, how sick is that? So we'll go into your lead next week. We'll have a look at that. So it's like a reversal app. It kind of t can take... Uh, any dry sound and, and, and actually pump out the reverse of it. It's really cool. So, uh, uh, and a whole bunch of the other kind of apps I've looked at recently, like um, uh, things like a Velvet Machine, along with this compressor, really damn cool. So, uh, let's show you just, because uh, I've got this basic clean guitar riff on here. So we'll just mute this out now. We'll just throw, um, we'll just throw uh, the, this on here and I'll show you how listen if you listen to this uh, so it's this one actually what am I doing this one so this guitar this is just a sample this is just a loop from Apple um, but even in that loop right you can hear there's this there's a, there's a degree of noise in there listen to it You know, I, I thought when I was putting this in here, like this is just a, like a temporary thing for the actual guitar I'm going to put in this song. I'm like, that's a Apple loop. How come there's so much noise in there? Could I use something like Bruce Free? Well, last night I threw this on here. So I, I threw a slap on here. And amazingly, it actually, hopefully I can find the preset that I used because it was just a preset and it just pulled all that noise out of there. Here we go. Listen to that. So for a compressor as well, it actually like kind of worked like Bruce Free, taking out in between those waka wakas, just um, creating like a, 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 a noise gate kind of limiting thing in there that pulls out that uh, that horrid noise in there. Really cool, yeah? So that there, and uh, that's one of the presets, which is called Extreme Drum Gate. So we'll go through some of the presets on here as well. Yeah, exactly, Russ. It ducks it out, mate. Ducks it out. And, you know, sometimes you have to... There's, there's a, a lot of high-end doors that are uh, even offering offering you, like, d ducking, like, things like in um, Luma Fusion. They use ducking in, in video editing and stuff like that. So yeah, because you've got a side chain in here as well. So I haven't gone through that yet. And these, I haven't really looked at these yet, but we'll have a look at them soon. 
I did see a question, where was it? Um, just a side question. How does that reverse delay sound on vocals? Well, Russ, you're going to get to see next week. It's going to be good times, I reckon. It's going to be fun doing that. So I, I think it's going to be really cool. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm just going to try it in the in the show, I reckon, and see what it does. So you can see... So using this, you can actually see how this compressor is working, right? You can see it pushing down in those spaces. And then, so then you're getting that, that noise that's in the background popping back up. So this is where you're getting like that pumping effect, which is talked about. So, you know, um, so this app is, is, you know, you want to create, this is ultimately, uh, this is like a, uh, it's, it's not a, a finishing compressor or it's not just a, a, a kind of uh, noise creation destructive compressor you can use it both ways so that's what's really good about it and it's two bucks again two bucks two bucks I want my two dollars two dollars So with the presets here as well, you've got, uh, uh, there's, and there's not too many too, they're quite specific. So there's one for vocals. So there's Voxerider, Synth Squasher, um, a Squish. I mean, these are all pretty uh, self-explanatory. A fat bass guitar. So even if we went and threw that back on the bass, we'll see what that sounds like. Let's do that now. So we'll mute this out and then we'll go through the side chaining stuff. Where's this bass? Here it is. And hit schlep. So we already had it on that. Oh, no we didn't. So yeah, you can hear it clearly there. It's really subtle too, but it just thickens it up a bit. Now we'll run through some of the um, drums on here, some of the presets for the drums, just so you can hear automatically, you can pull out the kicks with some of these um, on here. Let me just make sure I don't have this reverse thing on. Cool. Yeah. So this one's called No Kicks Allowed. And it's just sucking those kicks out. So much so, <laughs> everything else is competing to come back. <laughs> Listen to those rides. They're fighting to come back. It's brilliant. So what else we got in drums? So this uh, No Room Please. Oops. I think it's the next one. So this one tries to pull out, using compression, tries to pull out some of that room reverb. You can hear when we pop it, when we pop it back on. And of course, you can get in there and change that. So it's not so extreme. just with a little bit of ratio. Okay, let's have a look at this side chain uh, effect here. So when you turn on the side chain here, it gives you a filter here to actually decide um, where, um, where you want the compression to actually come in. So when I click on this, it actually gives you the option to change these this high pass and low pass so you can decide when the actual uh, compression is kicking in. So if we hit play, you can see the higher I turn up the uh, frequencies here, the more it cuts out. 
All right. So that's a really cool feature to have in there as well. Uh, Jim Shannon on sounds, where are the drums coming from? The drums are coming from in here, in GarageBand. Uh, so these are some drums I played on my E-Kit and have saved them in here for this song. So that is where the drums are coming from on here. We'll run through what these presets sound like. Go back up to top. So as well, you can save your presets as like with every app. You've got a, a little save function here. So you, you just hit save and that'll appear in your little user folder. So whatever you've got going on. And if you want to delete the delete it, so you just go into your user folder click on this and just hit delete and it's gone. So nice and simple for that. Also, when you're in GarageBand, the one thing you do have is this handy dandy little um, screen here, which most of you would be aware of with AUV3, with the Apple built-in AUV3 apps. So if you don't like looking at the beautiful interface, then you've got it all uh, out here nice and simply for you to look at your input gain, threshold, your ratio, Nice and easy to select a ratio from here. Here you actually get to see all of the ratios that are available. So you can see you've got this infinity one. You can see how they move up from 0 .0, uh, 0 0.1 all the way up to uh, through your standard. And then actually once you go past infinity, everything goes to like a minus, minus 20, minus 10, uh, 10 minus 7. So a really crazy range of of, of uh ratios there like nothing i've seen in a compression before it's just over the top this infinity one is just mental can you say mental these days wow So anyway, let's get out of here for a second because uh, I want to show you as well. We'll shut this uh, down and we'll open it up in AUM because there's multiple ways you can use it in here as well before we uh, wrap things up. So I'm pretty sure if we go here, uh, you can actually open it as an interrupt audio here in AUM as well as an AUV3. Why would you want to do that? Well. Sometimes you might want to look at the full screen and get a better representation for for really shitty eyes like mine that can't see crap. <laughs> really cool um, and really easy to just unmute that to skip back over to AUM. You can use it as a AUV3, of course. No problem there too. So just go to audio unit extensions instead of interapp audio and schlap. And there it is as well. Beautiful thing about AUV3. You can stretch it out as well too. So yes, and you can side chain. You can side chain it here in AUM. Um, so any app that allows side chaining, you can do that too. Really cool. Uh, let's. Is there anything I can throw it on in here? Um, I don't even have a vocal plugged in. Now I do. Maybe. There we go. Let's see. Do I have a vocal plugged in today? Um, Hello. Oh, 
Let's just see if this is hello, hello, oh yeah. Hello, 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 baby. Let's turn this down and give it a little bit more volume. Hello, oh yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go to factory here and hit scroll down and grab this vocal. Hello, one, two. Yeah, well, it's a big show. Well, it's a big, big show tonight. Well, well, compress the absolute crap out of this. <laughs> well, yeah, and you can see how hard that is working there with the volume. Definitely really cool for recording vocals live. If you want to create some really compressed vocals, if you're doing some really loud, crazy death metal stuff like that, super cool. So you can see it's not doing anything right now. It's not working at all. It's just relaxed, chilled out. As soon as I pump that up, we're not peeking out or anything. It's got a super hard compression on there. So like with everything that I say on this show, Use your imagination. I'm not here to run through every specific part of these apps, just to show you some extreme things that you can do with this uh, to mess around. And then if it's something that it looks like you could use in your music, um, I suggest you go and download it and check it out. I don't have any copies to give away because um, the developers got it on sale. So I thought, uh, you know, it's best to grab it while it's on sale so that's probably the best way to go because it's cheap and what is it two bucks pretty cool if it's up your alley i suggest you get it while it's cheap because it's going to go up uh tomorrow so it actually goes up on the 15th so that's probably you probably got two days for the rest of you living in the past because we're way ahead of you here in australia so yeah hey guzzo of oz good to see you Listening on my ear pods while babysitting the grandkids. Nice stuff. I want some ear pods. I wish Apple would send me some ear pods. <sighs> we can dream. We can dream, folks. We can dream. Um, so, yeah, that is that. I hope you've got something interesting out of this. I hope it's uh, something that you are considering looking at. Or maybe it's something for your arsenal. You can use it to squash some drums, squash some vocals. Really good on some vocals. I'm going to use, so just to give you a heads up, because we've done a few compression apps. Um, I'm going to try and uh, maybe in the next week or two, do a vocal show and run through a whole bunch of vocal apps in one show. And because I, I know you guys like it when I have a big sing along in the morning and put some apps through the test. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up, like the video, but give me a thumbs up in the chat if you like me doing some crazy singing stuff with some of these apps, because I'll, I'll, I'll run through a whole bunch of the apps I've already looked at, a whole bunch of compression apps, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you some stuff there. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Tomorrow, tomorrow, what's happening? Let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. A disco stew says, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Let me go full screen to show you. Tomorrow, we've got... Look at this. We've got a gated tour of Patrick Scarage. <laughs> Patrick Baird is coming on the show tomorrow. We're going to chat lots and lots about his channel, about GarageBand, and we're going to talk about his band. His music. I don't know if a lot of you know about Patrick's music, but he has quite a few releases on the Apple uh, Music Store on iTunes. So uh, many of you may not even know about that. And we're going to look at some of his music as well, because it's really, really cool. All right. Um, best kept secret on the internet, actually. Uh Patrick's band or music or his EPs and singles that he's got out. So you're going to have to tune in tomorrow to check that out. It's going to be good, good times. 
um what else what else we got so yeah joey's show is coming up next thank you pete for doing that for me because normally i would be like joey send me a link but thanks pete for putting a reminder so joey's show i think it's up i'm sure it's up next so in about 13 minutes time lucky for some and pete is then doing you're doing a cue you're doing an ask me anything i think pete yeah correct me if i'm wrong so everybody get get, get your questions ready and ask pete about his sex tapes i've seen them i'll never recover but anyway and i'll let you know for patreons um after yml um the day after tomorrow uh, come and join me on my patreon and we're going to do a like question answer kind of thing like an ask me anything but more so about music or whatever you want to ask me if you've got like um something you want mastered something you want mixed you can in the show send it over to me we'll have a look at it live in garage band we'll kind of do some stuff like that we'll wing it folks as usual on the patreon we'll just make it up as we go yeah um is there anything else i need to tell you i think um saturday for you guys after uh after studio live q a on pete's channel i'm going to be revisiting the spark guitar amp okay cool so it's gonna be fun too oh uh, yeah joey hey joey how you going so joey's gonna sing a song about pete's sex tapes on how to song today Ooh. You're creeped out yet? <laughs> well, you know what that means. I can hear it. The music is calling. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm going in for a blood transfusion today, folks. So, uh, happy days for me. And um, I'll see you over on Joey's channel. I'll see you over on Pete's channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Keep making music. And... Do what makes you happy. Or I'll kill you.